think as usual, I think we will have three stocks for today. Uh, first of all, first of the first of the list is actually Saipan Resources. I think if you look at the correction from the September high, it was quite sharp. It only found its support near the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. But uh, on the positive side, basically we have seen some support built around that level, which coincidentally is also above the 30-day SMA. So right now, uh, judging from this price pattern. We believe a stronger rebound is likely underway. I think if any uh, more downside rest, basically the share price will need to fall below the 50%. Then I think it could actually uh, reverse out the current optimism. Second stock is actually massing. I think if you look at uh, the share price performance, similar to uh, Saipak, it has actually staged a pullback from the high in September. But I think uh, if you look at the price pattern, again, it was supported by the 30-day SMA. In fact, I think it has never violated uh, since uh, the mid of 2023. Okay, So uh, the, the strategy here is any pullback, as long as it is above the 30-day SMA, will be a good entry level. But be quick to cut if uh, the share price were to fall below 80, 82 cents. Uh, as of now okay but of course the key factor to determine whether it is, a, it is a bullish or bearish trend it would very much depend dependent on the 30-day sma if it continue if the share price continue to trade above 30-day sma then i think the bulls will have the upper hand and finally on swift haulage uh, basically yes again it has also pulled out pull back from the uh the high uh, of 58 and a half cent and currently, it is trading at about 50% of the Fibonacci retracement level, which co also coincidentally is above the 30-day SMA. But I think uh, in Swift Haulage, basically, we have also seen the formation of a descending triangle pattern, which is supposed to be a bullish reversal pattern. So I think right now, uh, as a base has formed, uh, we believe the stock is going to challenge the triangle resistance. Uh, and once that resistance trend line is break out, a new uptrend will likely kick in, and I think it will drive share price towards its previous high of 58 and a half cent. I think if you look at the upside, it's quite substantial because uh, I think this starts the track. The triangle resistance is quite nearby, so once it is out, then I think it will pull, it will push the share price above 50, 56 and hence towards the uh, recent high of uh, 58 and a half cent. 